my back was against the wall. My doctor told me they were gonna gift me a insulin pump for Christmas if I if I didn't figure it out, if I didn't figure out my sugar. Nobody was telling me what to do. Nobody was giving me recipes. Nobody was telling me how to eat. We did the liver detox. And the first week we get rid of all the inflammatories and you can talk on this because it's it was great. I stayed vegan for about eight months after that. You know, everybody knows, okay, exercise and eat right. You know, that that concept is, you know, is universal. And this is a really good example of how quickly it can completely turn your life around. All right, welcome back. This is uh, Ryan Diener with Holistic Health Associates. And this is our video podcast series with um, high quality healthcare professionals in the area. I am very excited uh, to have Dave Rolls on from the Chef for Health is his company. And uh, Dave and I go back uh, a, a little ways now. We've known each other for, for a while. Um, we've had a great collaborative uh, experience and uh, he's he's had some great experiences at our office. And I've, you know, we've invited him to, to be a, a, a guest um, demonstrator on our detox program. And so we just have a, a ton in common. Dave has an incredible uh, knack for cooking and for cooking healthy and uh, has had an incredible health transformation. So I wanted to just bring him on and talk a little bit about, uh, let him tell you his story about what it means to really transform your health through food and how to do that. And then, you know, what that looks like. And then we're going to have some follow-up, uh, you know, see, we're going to make a follow-up series on this, you know, about with diabetes and some of the, some other internal diseases that he really specializes in cooking for. And uh, we're going to, we're going to have a lot of fun. So Dave, uh, yeah. thank you for being here. Uh, I'm really excited to chat with you and just looking forward to sharing, having you share your story with our, our audience here. Oh, absolutely. And it's always fun cooking for you guys. <laughs> it's a blast. Yeah, Man, so, we, we love it even more. Yeah. So my start, um, when I was 40 years old, I was 265 pounds. I'm five foot 10. My A1C was 13. I think it's a pretty morbid, like obese kind of thing. Um, so I did everything I could. They put me on the diabetic cocktail, metformin. I had a cholesterol and a triglyceride pill. I had stuff that was going to like help my liver and my kidneys survive the medications. And I was put on those terminal illness uh, medications because um, you're really not supposed to be able to get off of them. So anyway, I was, I was a photographer at the time. I had a family I needed to take care of. And so I got really worried that I could go blind and lose feet and all that kind of stuff and tingling and all that. And I had no idea I had diabetes. So fast forward about 17 years, um, I had done keto for about a year, two years. That was very successful. Um, it got rid of my, uh, got rid of my, uh, diabetes pretty well, but I still had like some other issues and it, and keto is really hard to keep, um, like sustainable, like to do it for a long time. So what I found is, um, this place called holistic health associations in Frederick that does this liver detox. Um, and so I went to that and my A1C and I lost some weight. I was down to about 210. Um, like, like I said, keto dropped the weight, COVID put it back on. And then um, we did the liver detox and my, I just did an A1C last summer and it was 10.5. Um, but for those of you that know, the cutoff's right about six and a half. You're pre-diabetes if you're lower than that and you're diabetic if you're higher than that. So um, mine was 10.5. So it's, still in the like you're gonna die stage <laughs> and um so i went in and i was like my back was against the wall my doctor told me they were gonna gift me a insulin pump for christmas if i if i didn't figure it out if i didn't figure out my sugar nobody was telling me what to do nobody was giving me recipes nobody was telling me how to eat um just go eat a diabetic diet um try the dash diet for your high blood pressure and i had the metabolic syndrome so i had all kinds of stuff wrong with me not just diabetes um so anyway, I go into this um, liver detox thing, and the first week we get rid of all the inflammatories, and you can talk on this because it's it was great. My sugar dropped 100 points that week. And so now we get into vegan week, and I'm like, all right, we dropped another 35 points. So I stayed vegan for about eight months after that mm -hmm. um, because then my blood sugar was great, and everything was great. All my numbers started dropping down. 
And then um, about November, December timeframe, I was talking to my doctor and he helped me um, kind of get off all my medications. I still do a blood pressure and I have to kind of watch my watch what I eat, even though I'm, I'm a vegetarian now. Um, you know, there's some things like, and especially eating late at night and there's different habits you really kind of have to keep an eye on. But I did my A1C six weeks after I was off my medications and it was a seven. You know, so it had dropped three and a half points just by changing my diet to a whole food plant based diet. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. And, you know, this is like the beauty of, you know, everybody knows, OK, exercise and eat right. You know, that that concept is, you know, is universal. And yeah. we all think like, oh, well, I, if only I could do that, I would be healthy. And this is a really good example of how quickly it can completely change, turn your life around, you know, mm -hmm. to go within a few weeks from, you know, a hundred and a hundred plus, you know, points of blood, blood glucose going down your A1C dropping by 35, you know, by basically almost 40% in, you know, in the same kind of time frame, and then being able to come off those medications at the same time, um, you know, so you're taking medications to keep your blood sugar in check. Then you're coming off the medications because the food that you're eating is doing such a good job of that. Like think right. about that for a second. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like wild. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. And and kind of like what we do at Chef for Health. Um, you can follow that story. It's out on my webpage at chefforhealth.com. Yeah, it's like being able to do that. And then I also took a uh, a vegan chef class. I'm a certified culinary. Um, I've been working in kitchens for about 20 years. Um, so um but that being able to do that and I learned how to cook vegetables better. So what I do, and I'm not saying like anybody, I'm not telling anybody what to do. This is a no judgment zone. Um, but you know, if you did a meatless Monday every once in a while, you cut down on your, you're going to save money. You're going to, you're going to feel better. Um, you're going to cut down your saturated fats and all that stuff. Um, it's just huge in your sodium. And like, I love to eat out, but as a, uh, diabetic and a, a person with high blood pressure issues, you know, that could be, you know, that'll raise my, jack my blood pressure up for a couple of days, yeah. you know, from all the sodium and like the restaurant food. You know, one of the things that we find in our office is that people who have difficulty with, you know, like high blood sugar or high, high blood pressure, they often are, you know, surrounded by other people that have, you know, that are not eating incredibly healthy, like these perfect diets. Right. So then when you start doing that, what kind of response do you get? Who, the, what are you saying to people? What are they asking you? Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, and it's like, you know, you always want to eat with somebody that you're, you want to model that lifestyle. Mm. So if you know any vegans or vegetarians, hang out with them for a day, go out to dinner with them, see what they're doing. Um, a lot of it, like you get some people that are like, I'm good. I'm good with the medication. I'm set my ways. I'm good. And that's fine. You know, if that's where you want to be, um, you know, but for, and the thing is like now it's like, they say like 50% of the people over 80 years old have some sort of dementia or Alzheimer's thing starting in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, we're the richest country in the world. We eat everything and anything, you know, it's almost like we got too good at what we are making. Cause like, you know, back in the 60s and 70s, when all these like fake sugars and stuff were coming out, you know, we we're canning stuff and hiding stuff. And, and the food was just a little little wonky. Um, we really got away from cooking for ourselves, cooking from scratch. Um, and that's kind of where I come in. I have classes. Um, I have a four week seminar that we do where you come in and we talk about how much water to drink, you know, what's bad about sodas, what kind of proteins can you get on? That's one of the big questions, like as a vegan vegetarian, you know, how do you get your proteins? Well, quinoa has, you know, six or seven grams of protein. Beans are great. They just have bad marketing. Um, so there's lots of ways you can get all these nutrients just by eating a plant-based diet. Yeah, for sure. And, and one of the things that I know you do really well that I think people have the most trouble with is you can find which ingredients might be good choices um, but then how to actually turn that into a meal that is palatable and enjoyable mm -hmm. and you can, you know, you know, be happy about, you know, we have so much about food in our culture. We have so much joy and emotion tied to it. And there's certain foods from our childhood that are like, just like we're locked into. Right. And so how do yeah. you start to shift people's, um, uh, uh, let's say like a uh, menu, like weekly menu, mm -hmm 
tell us how you do that with people and you know what you found yeah um and it's funny too because like we talked about earlier like you inherit your diet so whatever you ate growing up is probably what you're eating now so if your parents were diabetic or had high blood pressure and you're eating the same food they did it's not you don't have to have these chronic illnesses you can change your life so you can change your life like you said you get you inherit that diet you have family and friends that are also part of that circle and now yeah. you're starting to shift and you're starting to say okay like now i have some ingredients that i like to to eat but then you're working with them to start prepare, teaching people how to actually right. cook right you dave's an incredible chef so what we want to know is now how do i actually do this okay how do right. i take the conceptual i eat healthy versus where i am now and actually yeah. what's, what's my road what's my what's my path to being able to actually do that for myself how do you help yeah. me get there yeah well um, and we like i'll go grocery shopping with you i can point out i'll come to your house and we'll do a, a private chef party at your house um a lot of the times like what we do like with the seminars i give you recipe cards so you can do you know you can do your thing like grandma's meatloaf you know it's high in saturated fats and sodium and she put all kinds of love into that plate um but just like with a simple modification like we did with the gyros at your place the other day it's like that that mushroom and people like i hate mushrooms i had so many people convert to mushroom eaters after they had the meatloaf and they're like that's not i'm like yeah anyway um but we did like black eyed pea mushroom the recipe's out on the website and it cuts down your saturated fat and everything. And you just make like a mushroom gravy or something over it. Or if you don't like mushrooms, do a do a beef gravy like from a, you know, a bouillon cube or whatever to make your gravy the way you normally make it. You just need to make sure like that it's not too many crazy ingredients that are hidden in there. Yeah. Like we were joking about it the other day with ketchup. You get regular bottle of ketchup. And if you look at the side and all the ingredients and stuff, every time you go like that, that's two grams of sugar. It's like like that, you know, and it's like by the time and I have a statistic here, it says that the average American eats 152 pounds of sugar every year and 146 pounds of flour every year on the standard American diet, which is yeah. sad. S-A-D. Yeah. It is sad. It is sad. And it's something that I think, you know, we're working to change. And, and you know, you are a great advocate for that change. And I want to encourage everyone to check out Dave's website at chefforhealth.com. Uh, look at the different options that he's just kind of referring to with the, you know, you know, to be able to come to your home and do cooking demos, to be able to do a four week program where you actually go through and you, you really metabolize some of this stuff so that you can incorporate it in your lifestyle to be able to go to the grocery store if you want. Right. I mean, and there's, yeah. there's other, there's other options that, that Dave has. And so you want to, so, so go check that out. I, I wanted to just do a quick intro here with Dave so that we can start to get more people invested and involved with, healthy eating and healthy cooking and preparing foods that that are going to nourish your your body and nourish your soul. And I think what we're going to do is follow up with some very specific ones where we're going to talk about, you know, how to cook for how to cook and eat for diabetes, how mm -hmm. to cook for some other inter, you know, you know, irritable bowel and some other internal uh, medicine uh, challenges that a lot of people have. So look out for the rest of this series. But this is a great intro, Dave, and and uh, tell everybody where to find you. I know you're on your website. What about social? Yeah. Um, we're on our website. Um, as you know, we're getting ready to head to the World Food Championships in Dallas, Texas next week. Um, so, but we, I've been working with a couple of the locally gro local grocery stores about setting up some little quick one hour seminars, come in and kind of like, this is why, or this is how, and this is how like easy it is. And I'm hoping to be able to like put some food samples out there with some whole foods um, to realize it's not just salads and sticks and twigs and stuff. Um, but yeah, so we'll be keep an eye out. If you want to, you can go to my website. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, Chef for Health, um, at Chef for Health and all that. Um, if you kind of send me a, a quick PM or a DM or a message or a text or whatever, I'll put you on my mailing list. And that way you can be up to date to where, where I'm going to be and, you know, what we're doing and all that. Yeah, fantastic. And good luck at the Vegan World Championships. Dave's going to be there cooking, representing the uh, United States, one of a few uh, representatives in the vegan cooking uh, space. And can't wait to hear how that goes. And we, after yeah. we will really 
we're going to be bringing you some more of these videos with some very specific. So really looking forward to it. And thanks for being here, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Take care, everybody. And uh, good seeing you. We'll talk to you soon.